Hi everybody, Lori here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a couple of fun, colorful, Easter-themed projects to share with you featuring the Build an Egg Honeycut die set. Here she is in all her glory. Makes me want to sing a song. Do you want to build some Easter eggs? I have a bunch of, okay, I know that was cheesy. I couldn't resist. It just come, it just rolls right off the top of my tongue. But I'm going to cut all six of these patterned eggs out of sherbetty colors of cardstock. And then I have the solid egg here. I'm going to do six of these out of white. These are going to be the backers. And so what I'm going to try to do here is keep all the eggs and all the little detailed bits together. I have a little piece of masking tape that I use and then I can flip it over, over ever so gently and add a little bit of glue to the detailed bits and just a dab, just a little dippy dab. And then you slap on the white egg and press it down, let her dry. And after it's dry, we're gonna take off uh, the positive or the negative. I never can remember which is which, but this is what you call a twofer. You get two eggs for the price of one. Now, sometimes the little pieces, they fall out. They wanna run away. You gotta pop them back in. It's kind of tedious. You get frustrated, but it's all worth it in the end. A little dab of glue, not too much. You know, if it oozes out the sides, you're gonna have trouble separating the two eggs and that will chap your khakis. Okay, working my way through all six of these, and um, you know, it's kind of a tedious thing, but I enjoy this kind of stuff. And, you know, I feel like I'm being thrifty and nifty because you get two eggs. You, I'm getting two cards, which I rarely do um, that, because I'm definitely not a mass producer type of gal. It's just not in me. I don't know, like I get tuckered out after one or two. The creative energy just blows a fuse. I gotta lay down on the couch and have some chocolate and just like rejuvenate the creative energies. Okay. And, uh, okay. Little dots of glue on this one and putting that white egg. Do you guys color Easter eggs? I mean, we have for the past 20 years with the little ones, but now they're starting to get older. And, um, but I'm sure there's, you know, the problem is with the coloring of the Easter eggs, especially if you have five kids, do you know how many dozens of eggs you need to hard boil? Like a lot. There's never enough. There's never enough then what do you do with all the hard boiled eggs? I mean, I, I like a deviled egg. I like a deviled egg. It's not a family favorite, but uh, you can only eat so many. Not a huge fan of egg salad. I'm just gonna put that out there. Now, Bailey likes a, like a hard boiled egg on her salad. She'll eat a hard boiled egg. We'll put a little salt on it. Not my favorite thing. You know, my favorite way to eat an egg is to soft boil it, where it's like partially cooked, but still runny. My mom used to make that for me. She called it Chucky Eggs and Soldiers. We had the little egg cups. You chop off the top and you dip the strips of toast in it. Gosh, that was my favorite thing. Anyway, I'm popping on the, now would this be the negative? I think this is the negative parts. I never get it right. But okay, so you got the lined up six. I actually was inspired. This idea kind of came to me when I was looking at the honeybee a website and I looked at the build an egg. You know when you go on the website and you look at the egg and they give you some examples and the first one shows you the eggs all cut with these colorful colors and I was like that could be a card idea right there and I just kind of ran with that idea. Now for a sentiment I'm using the He is Risen stamp set and I'm embossing the Sending Easter Blessings in white onto some slate cardstock. I didn't go black. Normally I do white on black. Today I went slate just to ever so subtly lighten it up for the Easter occasion. I don't know. Just feeling that. Go with it. Okay, so I'm here. I'm assembling the two cards. Now one card is white on cream. The other card is cream on white. See what I did there? A little switcheroo. Both of them have the same sentiment slapped right in the center. I added a few sparkling clear sequins just to give it a little blingity bling. Now I do want to mention the size of these cards. They are three and three fourths inches wide and seven and a half inches tall. So they're kind of in between. They're like a mid-size slimline. I invented a new size. You got to do what you got to do to fit on the gorgeous Easter eggs. I hope you enjoy this video. Sending you Easter blessings a little bit early, but you know what I mean. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.